Thank you, March, and hello to everyone. Hello. So I want to start out with two questions for you. How many of you have had someone to lean on you for support? Now, how many of you would like to take better care of yourselves while you're providing support to other folks? So those of you who didn't raise your hands, that means you're already taking pretty good care of yourself, huh? So I think for most of us, we are already the bomb for so many people in our lives. Just like the aloe vera plant that provides a, a, a healing property to us when we're burned and when we have ailments, we do the same thing for the people that we serve. And I think most of us in this room, we're really good at fanning the flame for those people whose dreams are about to die or they decide that they want to give up on their dreams. And we are really good at providing exceptional service in order to help people live exceptional lives. But today, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for taking time out for you. March has already done that, but I want to thank you again and for taking time out to even spend time listening to me today. So I want to share with you why I'm really passionate about talking about being the bomb. I'm passionate because I'm a wife. I'm a mother. You heard March say I'm a psychologist and I'm a minister and I'm a lot of other things. And I know what it's like to be overextended, almost to the point of not being able to fulfill your purpose the way you are destined to do. I've also for over 20 years worked with people who are un to set the boundaries. I've worked with people who have a lot of emotional gook that keeps them from manifesting their destiny. And I've worked with people who've been wounded by people who they love and trusted. And so they felt betrayed. And so what happens when we're in those moments is that we're like that little hamster on a wheel and we're spinning and spinning and spinning. So today, just for a few moments, I want to talk to you about the elements of building a house and how those elements can help you be the best bomb that you can be and how it will help you take care of yourself in the process. But to do that, I want to tell you a story. A few years back, I was planning a workshop with a group of women, and it was on healthy relationships. So I called my father, who was 85 years old at the time, and I said, Dad, can you tell me about building a house because I'm doing this workshop on healthy relationships? So my father starts and he says, well, baby, because that's how he referred to me. He said, when you build a house, the first thing you need is a firm foundation because your foundation has to be strong enough to withstand the storm. But I knew from my father that foundation was God. And so I started saying to myself, this dad really get what I'm asking him to do? Because, you know, you think you know more than your parents at all ages of life, right? So I'm like, is he really getting what I'm asking? But the spirit said to me, just wait and listen. So my father continued. He said, after you have that firm foundation, then you need to build your walls because your walls are on that foundation. And he said, you have to select the best pieces of wood for that wall. And that means that you have to learn to love and care for yourself because your walls will determine what comes in and out of your house. And so then he moves on and he says, after you have your walls, you need to make sure that you have a secure roof because if your roof is not secure, it will allow the elements to start coming in and damage your walls. And that means you have to be careful who you hang around. Because who you hang around will determine exactly where you will go in life. And so it will just subtly destroy your walls and they may become in disrepair. So, so destructive are those elements that you may not be able to repair the damage. And then he said to me, you also have to have reinforcers for that house. Because you see, your reinforcers secure whatever you have learned, and you have to be able to apply it. He said, just like you went to, to learn to study the Bible, if you don't apply what you know, it means nothing. You will revert back to your old ways. Wow. I could not 
fit. My father, who had an eighth grade education, had just told me with all of my knowledge and all of my high education how to build the psychological houses of our lives. My father's words were a bomb that day and they were to the women who heard the story and who benefited from my workshop. But they were also a bomb for other people because a few months later, I used those same words to do his eulogy. And so it graced the family very much. And so what are the lessons for us today? First and foremost, the lesson is you must have a firm foundation if you are going to be the bomb. And that foundation, I believe, is having a relationship with the sacred, whatever you call the sacred. It could be God, universe, power. Maybe you don't have a name at all, but you have to have something that's a firm foundation. This other thing that I would say is it doesn't even matter if you've had a bad religious experience because religion is not the relationship. You must find something to hold on to. And that sacred being, whatever that is, will let you know that you're a sacred being, that you have sacred power, that you can do anything that you put your mind to do. And that sacred being will also help you when you're feeling doubtful. It'll give you encouragement. That sacred being will help you when you're confused to give you clarity. It will give you peace in the midst of your storm. Today, I invite you to figure out what is your sacred source because it will help you be the bomb. The second lesson I learned from my dad is this. You have to be selfish. Now, I know we're taught not to be selfish, but you have to be selfish. That's what it means to take care of yourself. You have to know when to say no and when to say yes. Remember those walls. You figure out what you will allow to come in and what you will allow to go out. It's important for you to take time for yourself. It's important for you to figure out what makes you tick because other people know what makes you tick, right? Any of you married in here? your husbands or wives or your partners, they know what make you tick. It is important for you to figure that out so that you know how to get rid of those limiting beliefs, those negative thoughts that are there. It is crucial for you to do that. And then thirdly, I would say this, it is important for you to understand your shared relationships. There are some people that you need to remove out of your lives. There's some behaviors and habits you need to get rid of. That's what it's all about. And then reinforce what you know. You can't just go to a seminar. You just can't hear an inspirational speech like today. You will hear many of those. Like my father says, you have to use what you know. You matter. What you do matter. You could be the person to keep someone from going over the edge. So I invite you today. I didn't have time to go deep into these three things, but I talk extensively about them in my book, Sacred Intelligence. I invite you to figure out your source, your sacred being, to take care of yourselves, and then you can be the best bomb to all those people that you work with. Thank you.